Welcome everyone to this course on systems thinking for sustainability, where we'll be taking the ideas, uh, the methods, the tools of systems thinking, systems change, and thinking about how to apply those um, in the context of the sustainability challenges uh, we face. So the course is broken down into four main sections. We're gonna start off learning about systems thinking. Uh, we'll talk then about systems mapping and systems modeling, um, systems change, the ideas, methods, tools uh, there, and finally regenerative systems and living systems, just to jump into some of those now. Uh, first section, getting a grounding in what exactly systems thinking is, um, what do we mean by uh, holistic thinking, synthesis, analysis, so on and so forth. Um, what is sustainability from a systems perspective? Uh, really key question. It enables us to kind of reframe a lot of, a lot of this discussion, a lot of these challenges. Um, finally, in the section, we'll talk about ecosystem thinking, shifting our, our, our thinking, our awareness from ecosystem to ecosystem thinking. Second section here is on systems modeling. Um, we'll try to represent and uh, map out systems. So starting off with uh, what exactly the model of a system is, how it can help us actually better define um, sustainability from a systems perspective and systems mapping uh, different elements and factors in a system and how this can actually help us uh, build new collections, connections, collaborations and so forth for um, a circular economy. So that's the second section, systems modeling. Third one, we talk about systems change. Um, what exactly is it? What are the tools uh, and methods here um, that can help us enable a more transformative kind of change that's really needed uh, to create a more sustainable world? And how can we build the new forms of collaborations, um, new platforms, the new networks that bring people together um, for realizing that? So that's all the ideas of systems change. Uh, finally, we talk about regenerative systems. Um, what exactly are they? And what constitutes a regenerative system? Uh, and the adaptive cycle, uh, what makes a system adaptive and regenerative and so forth. We have some models around that. Um, we'll then talk about the principles of living systems and how, how can those principles um, from living systems really inform our work here in the context of sustainability and building uh, systems that are more regenerative uh, more resilient and ultimately more sustainable. So those are the four main principle, four main uh, sections to the course. Um, this is who it will be relevant for. I think particularly for professionals already working in this space, consultants and so forth, who want to adopt um, these new ideas and so forth, and, 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 and ideas and tools also, uh, systems change tools. Uh, it'll be relevant for anyone who's looking for a new perspective on these challenges of sustainability, think more holistically about them, um, and to understand how these approaches could be used um, to really um, address and move forwards in a more systemic way, in a more transformative way, um, tackle these uh, complex challenges we face. So that's the course. Um, I hope you'll join me, join me in unpacking and exploring what systems thinking can mean um, for a more sustainable form of development.